Hey everybody, welcome back. This is our final video on the information security with Helmet.js and we're going to hash and compare passwords synchronously. If you go two videos back, that is where we deployed the web app to uh, render using GitHub and um, that is where you want to go if you're starting. Um, hashing synchronously is just as easy to do but can cause lag if using the server side with a high cost or hashing done very often. Hashing with this method is as easy as calling um, hash, bcrypt, hash sync, plain text password, and salt rounds. Add this, um, add this method to your hash of hashing to your code and then log the result to the console. Okay, well, let's do that right now. So they kind of want us to do it down here. End async, start sync. We might as well do it within the comment blocks as they describe. So here we've got um, var hash, bcrypt, hash sync. And then um, I guess, well, they actually have this my plain text password here and then salt rounds. They have that as a variable above as well. And so, yeah, I guess we're done. That was quite, it doesn't like the fact that we're using hash again. Oh, you know, I don't need to do this. This was an error from the last one. Uh, that will make a difference. So, okay. The variables used are already defined in the server, so you won't need to adjust them. You may notice, even though you are hashing the same password as in the async function, the result in the console is different. Oh, okay. So it wants us to console.log the hash. And so now if we were to run npm start, we're going to see that the hashes are different. So they both start with the money 212, because this is the uh, things described in the first video. But then the, the uh, afterwards are considerably different. Uh, uh, you may notice the hashing, the same password in the async function, the result in the console is different. This is due to the salt being randomly generated each time as seen by the first tw 22 characters in the third string of the hash. Now to compare a password input with a new sync hash, you would use the compare sync. All right, so here we've got uh, the result is equal to bcrypt dot compare sync. And yeah, we're just using my plain password, my plain text password, and setting it to the hash. Or and then that's for the second parameter we're passing in a hash. And let's see, console.log. Uh, the result. And let's stop this and start it again. It looks like we've got a result of true. And so yeah, first off, it generates this hash, and then it compares them. So this is the way to do it asynchronously. And then here we have a way to do it synchronously. Uh, yeah, add the function to the result and see if it's working. Submit your page when you think you've got it right. Well, well, I think we've got it right. So we can stop the server, git add, git commit, dash m, and then we can just say add a synchronous sync. So I end synchronous. Um, bcrypt example and we can get push um, right before we do that I just want to demonstrate that this is working the way it's supposed to here we have um, yeah our project name uh, not that one not that one which one is it the bcrypt free code camp so if we were to push this in here right now um, it's, it fails out. And so now if we go get push, then we're going to see it pop up on render just in a moment here. And then once this is complete, and now that it is com deployed completely, we can, well, just resubmit here. And it's good. All right. So congratulations. If you've been following along with me, we have completed the information security with J Helmet JS, And we can go on to the next one. All right. I can do that later. And so great. So. Uh, looks like the next videos are going to be about pen penetration testing. And um, if we come down here to the information security, we see we've got all of the completions ones. So that's a good feeling. Uh, looks like Python penetration testing is a seven video series. And then we've got uh, six information security projects. So these will be the really exciting ones. But for now, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.